how do you see the china russia relationship we know they've got a very interesting history the osuri river clashes in the 1960s and uh, these are two con very largely contiguous nations very long shared borders and that typically causes frictions the chinese still haven't uh, given up their claims on sakhalin and the russian far east right now they are cooperating collaborating do you see this relationship prospering long term well firstly they have signed the border agreement yes, this happened while i was in russia and uh, <clears throat> it was settled on a fairly even basis in fact it's only the usuri river and the island in the usuri river uh, where they had a deal maybe they yield a little bit on the island by not agree by being flexible about the median line okay these are details but point is they settled the border it is true that uh, russia's far east sakhalin included uh, were taken over by the tsars tsars but then you know if you look at it another way look look at where uh, china's great wall is that was the frontier of uh, china beyond that were the barbarians now where they are so manchuria uh the manchurians are not hans so china can make the point uh, yes uh, these territories were ours but these territories were part of an empire and that empire lost to another empire which was the tsarist empire so there it is but you're right that occasionally they publish maps here and there the other is that on this side of the border uh, there is huge population on the chinese side and on the other side empty and they are people tiny who go there and uh, the russian administration doesn't object to that because they do farming this and that they produce uh, farm products which are needed locally and stuff like that so they help in kind of they provide manpower for local economic activity some of them marry russian girls settle down but when i went to these uh, areas i went to sakhalin also the impression i got was that uh, there was some kind of a background concern but nothing nothing immediate uh, and then i remember putin making a statement some years ago why should china want this territory they want uh, resources of these territories but we are giving them the resources so they are giving them timber they are giving them this they are giving coal and stuff like that so uh, then at the end of the day after all so long as russia has that uh, military capacity nuclear capacity uh, china cannot risk risk grabbing territory i don't think uh, that uh, there is there is any military threat that uh, the russians feel from china in fact they are helping china after all china's advancement in military technology is largely russian uh, they have reverse engineered so many things mm -hmm. but if you look at the aircraft they are all copies of uh, russian aircraft yes. space you know think they done wonderful things in space so they all russian technology yes. so if uh, russia was that afraid it wouldn't uh, give them all the advanced military uh, technology that they have but but yes the balance of power between russia and china has altered yes. uh, russia has now accepted that it's not in the same league as china mm -hmm. and their spokespersons and others uh, their columnists and think tank specialists admit that uh, china is now the peer of the united states and russia is not quite in the in the same league uh chinese economy is much much stronger yes. than the russian <clears throat> uh earlier on in my time there was still reluctance of russia to fuel the rise of china by giving it all, all the energy it needed mm -hmm. because they knew they they were building up a economic superpower and helping to build it up on one side the united states on the other side russia by giving them energy they were hesitant mm. but now it's totally different yeah. they built a new pipeline trans i don't know what they call trans siberian uh a couple of one more pipeline has been agreed mm. so they are not hesitant now uh, to fuel the chinese economy they do uh, because they know they have reached a different uh, league they are cooperating in the seo uh, they have arrived at a kind of a modest vivendi in the central asian region which china dominates economically and russia dominates from on the from the security point of view right. russia is also eager to get bri investment which it is not really got the way it wanted because china has done this through central asia to europe but not through russia okay. uh, there is a, given the history of russia and the yellow peril and, and the mongol invasions of the past Uh, that memory is still there yes. so 
I don't think that uh, at the popular level, the Russians feel any kinship towards China. Uh, and, uh, but at the strategic level, state level, they know that uh, China has to be a partner, uh, especially in these times when Russia is on the back foot.